Sports medicine in, in, in general, you're working with a highly motivated patient population that wants to get themselves better. And I have tools that I can use to help them feel better sometimes immediately, which is a really gratifying part of my job. But at the same time, being able to help somebody who's had those pain issues for years is also super gratifying. That is, is why I like sports medicine. It's great being a fellow here at JPS. There's um, a lot of great opportunities here. One of the major reasons that I chose to come here was to be able to get a wide range of experiences. People, when they come here, know that they're going to be practicing medicine. They're not gonna be shadowing us as attendings. They're not just gonna be doing what they're told. They're gonna to be making medical decisions that mean things to people in real life, and that's gonna prepare them to be better doctors as they move on. Our um, program generally has seven fellows per year. They do also have a length of training program here um, where residents in the family medicine program, if they are interested in continuing to sports fellowship, have the opportunity to do that. We do things that a lot of other programs don't do. We do fluoroscopy training for family medicine residents, for PM&R residents, for pediatric residents, and you don't see that many places in the country. We have half a day per week of dedicated musculoskeletal ultrasound training, both for procedural ultrasound and diagnostic ultrasound, um, as well as a half day per week of um, scheduled um, procedures under fluoroscopy. Our MSK ultrasound is hands-on. You do a lot of one-on-one -on -one training with the faculty, especially when you have patients in the clinic. You also have access to all the AMSSM videos online for specific targeted areas for the ultrasound. Our research half days are dedicated time during the day where we have time to sit and concentrate on the research projects that, that we do. I definitely wanted to get good training both in procedural and musculoskeletal ultrasound, and us having a dedicated half day per week to do that um, will ensure that by the end of the fellowship program that I feel comfortable. It's our learning time, right? And so Friday mornings typically, we also have another segmented time where we're not responsible for any other patient activities. We can all sit together and learn the things that we need to learn to do our job correctly with people that have done this for years. Having um, several other fellows in the program along with me has been um, nice to get different perspectives um, that you might not otherwise see given your primary training background. Knowing that I would have other fellows kind of going through the same thing and being available to, to help me out when I'm struggling in one way or another, that was actually something that I loved about the program. We have the opportunity to see patients here in the clinic at our main home base at JPS, but we also have the opportunity to see patients at various um, colleges. We cover multiple high schools in Tarrant County. We are the team physicians for both Texas Wesleyan, Southwestern Assembly of God, and, and Waxahachie, and we're the team physicians for TCU. We have a lot of different levels of coverage, so we, we each get our own high school football team that we cover. Uh, and then we're also covering TCU athletics. So we have Division I athletics and we're covering NAIA level um, where we cover Texas Wesleyan and SAGU. It's a very different experience from a lot of other places. All of those places, there are no other orthopedic residencies or fellowship programs that compete with our fellows. So our fellows are seeing everything first. We see all of our athletes first, no one else. We definitely take the ownership of our patients and are able to formulate the plan from beginning to end. Athletes don't want to sit on the sideline. They want to get back in the game. And I think that's important for us to be there for them, to allow them to do that in a safe way. And as far as our JPS patients, not all of them are high level, college level athletes. A lot of them are people who are weekend warriors. They just wanna work out. They don't wanna have knee pain. And so we're here to help them get through that and allow them to do the activities that they wanna do, whether that's walk to the mailbox or go score a touchdown. We hold people to a high standard. We expect a high standard. And I think we get that, but we also have a culture of having fun. We like to, break loose every once in a while. We like to have a good time. At JPS, there's a lot of camaraderie um, and friendship. We all want everyone to succeed here. Starting out, no matter where you go, is, is terrifying, but they made me feel really comfortable from, from day one. I still have you know, chat groups and text groups with fellows from previous years, and they reach out when they've had their babies and they're getting married and they get new jobs. Once you're here, you're I say you're one of my kids forever. I didn't even consider anything else. I wanted to stay here. My wife wanted to stay here. Our daughter wanted to stay here. We all wanted to stay here. And so um, I still wouldn't wouldn't change a thing. This is this is where I would have come. I say I have the greatest job in the world, and I and I believe that. And uh, sometimes uh, on a daily basis, but certainly on a weekly basis, I have to pinch myself. I'm just lucky to get to do what I do.